So, the raging war between Kylian Mbappe and PSG has refused to go down. My name is Victor, and welcome to today's episode of Football Intel. <laughs> Welcome back. Now to the main issues. Just about one week ago, the board of PSG wrote to Kylian Mbappe that he should take two options. Renew your contract or leave the club. And within 48 hours, he responded. Mind you, he's still on holiday. But he responded, saying that he won't renew his contract. Well, he still has from now till July the 31st to either renew his contract or PSG will go into the market to find a suitable buyer. But the question now is, what then will be left out for PSG, knowing that Messi is out of the club, and Neymar has been on and off the pitch due to his numerous injuries. That aside, let's not forget that just recently, Kylian Mbappe came to the press and said that the Champions League was something that he couldn't win due to the PSG board couldn't get him the appropriate players. And that caused an opera. That the former French defender, Dugari, came out to remind the press that he once made a comment about how arrogant Mbappe will be at the end of the day. That they were, they were signing, back in the days, that they were signing an arrogant person who one day they will realize that Mbappe is an arrogant person. Down the line, if you can recall back during the Champions League game against PSG, with PSG against Club Bruges, where Mbappe was sidelined, and uh, while the game was getting tougher, they brought him in, and he scored a hat-trick. Remember, remember what happened during the press time? Mbappe was like, come on, the coach um, had his, uh, his choice to make, but uh, I have scored three goals, meaning that I am relevant in this club. That took another turn in the club. And persons like Neymar did not feel so nice from the report we got from the back, back end of the club. So that caused the next few games, Mbappe and Neymar were not just clicking on the pitch, that even at the time there was a penalty, there was a free kick that Mbappe wanted to take, but somehow, somehow, Neymar bullied him out and took the, the, the free kick. And there was this opinion poll for the fans to say who they think between Neymar, Mbappe, and Messi, who they think has the club at heart. And Fortunately for Mbappe, he was being picked. Well, some fans came out to say that Lionel Messi did not just uh, want to sign for the club, that the reason why he signed for PhD was just for him to make it to the World Cup, okay, to stay fresh and make it to the World Cup. And we, as we can see, he has left the club. Why for Neymar, they were like, come on, that Neymar wasn't that so strong that uh, the club did not take, uh, their medical department did not take into details that he was suffering from various kinds of injuries before coming to the club. But well, that's that for the trio to settle. But as he stands, Mbappe is still in Africa. Remember, he was in his fatherland, Cameroon, and uh, just like every other top African player. Uh, the likes of Saka, the likes of Victor Osime, the likes of uh, Didier, um, the likes of uh, Puba, they were all in Africa to support the grassroots football in Africa and also mingle with their family. 
But what next for Kylian Mbappe? There is this strong indication saying that he might just go to Real Madrid. But remember, just a few weeks ago, Real Madrid signed Jude Billingham from Dortmund for 100 million pounds. So do you think that Real Madrid will have the backbone to carry out such magnitude of transfer? Mind you, there are strong indications that Real Madrid might be spending 150 million pounds to sign Kylian Mbappe that just has one year contract left. Yes, 150 million pounds. Will it be worth it? And let's not forget that Kylian Mbappe earns more than 300,000 euros per week. And you still have FFP, that's a fair play to take care of in these issues because you need to balance your books as a club. So the question now is, will he change his mind? July the 31st is around the corner. Do you think that he will be like, okay, let me just uh, stay out my contracts. Then by 2024, summer of 2024, he cannot be a free agent and a, a suitable club can buy him. But there are still some laughable indications that Arsenal might just be there waiting to lash in. <laughs> this morning we were talking about is too much. Yes, one might be like for Arsenal to pull out about 200 million pounds for just three players. That they can go ahead and pull out 150 million euros for Kylian Mbappe. But it does not end there. Why do I say that? Because of wages. If Arsenal should trade into this, will Kylian Mbappe be willing to go down in terms of wages? Will Arsenal be able to capture that 300,000 euros per week? That would be too much for a club like Arsenal. But like I said, let's watch out what will happen from now to 31st of July. That will be all for today. Thanks for watching. I am Victor.